Our second trip to Albania was July, August 1992. We registered Islamic leave there in December 1991 and we employed two young people originally from Egypt. One of them is called uh, Salah. He got his uh, degree in commerce. And the second one was Osama. Leila has got his degree from the University of Cairo in uh, Commerce, Faculty of Commerce as well. Plus, a third one called uh, Suleiman Sharkasi was originally from Kosovo. Uh, to plan for a trip like this, the idea is that those two young people go there and uh, we ask to Ismail Sharkasi as well as to Adnan Ismaili to rent a flat for them because we do not want to live in a hotel anymore because it's very expensive. And uh, we rented this flat and we started to plan where to go and to give us the names of uh, different cities because we want to make a field, a field visit to see different uh, cities, different towns, different areas, different communities actually to enable the two young men to uh, see the country uh, before they start working. So I landed in Tirana, which was actually a very, very primitive airport at the time. And we planned our trip is to go to the south first, to reach to the border of Greece, and to come back to Tirana, and from Tirana go to the north, and come back again, and to start to make our plan. So there was no petrol as usual. Whenever you go to all of these uh, post-communist countries or whatever it is, there's no petrol, there's no facilities whatsoever. So we hired a car with a driver and the driver has to buy uh, petrol, to put it in the boot of the car and take it to the traveler. So you can imagine uh, four people in a car with the big barrel of petrol at the back of the car. Anything wrong could blow us up in this journey. We started uh, visiting different cities and our uh, intention was to find the mosques and start to talk to the local people through the institutions. Everywhere, everywhere, the Ottoman uh, at the time in the ruling Albania were actually making this structured system of having central mosque in every city, as well as small musallat and prayer area on the mountains or on the different areas. So I went from Tirana to Kavaya, Kavaya to Vlora, Vlora came back to another city, I can't remember its name, uh, to Bogradis. Bogradis uh, was one of the cities which was starting a huge work in Bogradis. And it is uh, have it it, uh, it has what we call it a big lake, big lake uh, which actually shared between Macedonia and uh, Albania. So this Ohrit lake was huge, uh, and we saw it beautiful scenery. It was a, like a tourist attraction for everybody. So we're looking for the mosque, as it was actually one of our norms. Because we need to we need to discover. One of our projects actually is uh, to uh, restructure and refurbish the mosques at the time. And the young man who, who asked about where the mosque is in the mountain, we go there, and we went to the mountain and we found that the mosque is closed. And we came down, but on, on the way down to the town and or to the city, and we found a very old man running after us, said, yeah, and speaking Albanian language, said, this is not the mosque. Let me show you the mosque. So he took us to the house of the Mufti. And this is where the structure, the system was created by the Ottoman at the time. There's Mufti at every city. And uh, we went to the Mufti and they gave us coffee, of course, and some water, and he told us, this is the old mosque and showed us some of the photographs which the old mosque had been destroyed or demolished by uh, Anwar Khoja and instead of having the mosque he was building uh, like uh, a community center which is a theater and cinema 
Mr. Moscow. And he took us to see that was Bismillah, mashallah, very solid concrete building. Huge, huge, huge. The original mosque was very small, but this was huge building. But it needed to be uh, completed. And we decided, inshallah, to take it to be one of our projects, uh, first project in Albania at that time. And we took all the photographs with us and we started to mark through it. And alhamdulillah, within a few years' time, we managed to complete the building and became the largest Islamic cultural center in the city. And after that, the Kuwaiti built another bigger mosque inside Tirana. And they have more money than us. From Bogradis, we went to Tirana again for a day or so to refill uh, the tank as well as uh, the barrel which we are having. I went to a place called Shkodra in the north and it was called Beshkobi in the north. And whenever we used to go to these areas, we used to go and meet the muftis, uh, a mufti who are actually in charge of the mosques and the madrasa and the Islamic community in the area. So this visit for each one listening to me is extremely crucial because it's a fact-finding mission discovering the new land, the new community, the new partners, the new whatever it is, and starting to understand uh, how people feel, the needs of the people that need the assessment, and give the young people uh, the, the, the depth of the insight of what you need to do in the country, and letting them to widen the horizon or the scope of the horizon of thinking. Uh, at that time. Alhamdulillah, it was took about 10 days, 14 days, go around with about seven or eight or nine towns and cities, maybe to see maybe tens of mosques closed or destroyed, or demolished, or became warehouses or became like stables for horses and donkey and other. This was this was the system of communism at the time which deprived people from the right to worship God, unfortunately. It was another memorable uh, journey for me. Assalamu alaikum wa